Hello, this is the trade site <clears throat> U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 29th of March, 2017, as we head towards the end of the quarter, which is Friday. And those statements will print. And everybody gets to take their bonuses for the first quarter, which means there's a little bit of impact of trying to hold certain stocks up, potentially, get those bonuses printed. And that usually comes into play right about now. Uh, so we're seeing some of that, I think, in, uh, in some of the action that we've seen here over the last two days as the markets have just drifted back up on no volume after selling off sharply on volume. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of broad market and futures form. You can see we came back up a little bit. But in reality, if you look at the last five candles, I mean, they're all closing almost exactly at the same place since we dipped a week ago. Let's go through some of the major charts on the daily, and then we'll look at the intraday, talk about the data coming out tomorrow, see what we got. So crude oil up 62 cents to 48.35, not a big deal there. Gold down $5.50, it's a blip. S&P gained 17 uh, for the session. NDX actually gained 33, puts it back near all-time highs. Keep in mind what that really does is give us a 12 on the seeker. Remember, we never got to the seeker sell signal on the NDX. Okay, so that puts us to 12. A 13 will be the sell signal. So one more up day. It does the same thing on the S&P, by the way. Uh, although the problem with the S&P is for, to get to 13, you've got to be above candle 8. You can see candle 8's way back up there at the highs, so that won't get us a 13. But on the NDX, it will get us a 13, just having a positive day tomorrow, so just be aware of that. Sox gains 3. Biotech loses 13, still down from its 13 sell signal there. The VIX lost 97 cents back to 11.53, as if nothing ever happened on the VIX there. Trin Finally, a low reading at 0.78. That still keeps the 10-day moving average at 1.31. NASDAQ volume, only 1.6 billion shares. Really bad. That's the problem. Advanced decline ratio, positive 6.68. On the NASDAQ, positive 14.38 on the New York. Uh, it wasn't as interesting trading-wise today as it was Monday. We had a really nice day with some great triggers that just took off and ran, and they were daily chart triggers, and market direction was there. Today, it was a little bit of back and forth early, as you'll see. And then it just never really materialized into uh, some clean triggers. We had a couple. Everything was green, but nothing was spectacular, I wouldn't say. So we uh, you know, just went with what was there. And, uh, you know, the last two hours of the day, as you'll see, were very flat. Uh, so Google gained two. That puts it uh, bouncing a little bit off those recent lows. A Apple's up three, almost three points. That's new closing high for Apple. Amazon not, up $9.18, very near an all-time closing high, but it's been flat for a month. Netflix up one dollar and eleven cents. Let me see. Does that get us? There's your thirteen sell signal on Netflix right there today. We're starting to line up. Tesla up seven dollars and twenty three cents on the gap. TLT loses eighty one cents, heading back down. Goldman Sachs up uh, three dollars and eighty five cents, rebounding a little bit off of the lows of the other day. And the Dow Jones was up one hundred fifty points. But Let's take a look at the intraday action. Here's five-minute candles on the ES. So you can see we had never filled the gap. Yesterday morning we gapped down. We never quite made it back up to fill that gap. So today we opened basically flat, filled this tiny gap quickly, headed a little lower, came a little higher, and a little lower, wasted the first 90 minutes, and then as they get ready to head into lunch, they pushed it to new highs, filled that gap, and then going into lunch. Lunchtime was probably the better move of the day, which is awkward on no volume. Uh, just drifted up straight until the two o'clock New York time. And then we were basically dead flat and rolled a little bit at the close. Look at the volume after the market though. All the volumes in the 15 minute window after the market. So, <clears throat> you know, not no real progress made, although it looks positive to have been on chart, but the fact that the volume is so bad is really the issue. Here's the NASDAQ uh, market, you know, got to new highs a little sooner uh, and then just rose over lunch. Again, it was all lunchtime when nobody's around, no volume in the market. All right, so what do we have in terms of economic data tomorrow? What do we have left this week? Again, the big focus point is that we have the uh, statements printing on Friday, the end of the quarter. So Friday, I mean, typically should be dead. It's a Friday and it's end of quarter together. Thursday, you might start to see things slow down. Uh, Wednesday, in terms of data, we have the MBA mortgage index at 7 a.m., pending home sales at 10 a.m., and crude oil inventory is at 10.30 a.m. None of that's a big deal. Uh, the data that's left this week, there's still more of it left than we've seen as of after tomorrow, but none of it's huge. Maybe the Chicago PMI on Friday. Uh, we've got the third look at GDP for the fourth quarter. That's not a big deal either. So uh, none of this looks like it's going to be earth-shattering, but if we could still get one more good trading day like Monday was, 
in the week, hopefully Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Uh, I think that's all you're going to get Friday, like I said, unless there's news out there, and God knows there's enough of it looming, unless there's news out there to move the market, I wouldn't expect it, though, because a Friday for the end of quarter is not usually your big excitement period. Uh, so we'll have one more market preview tomorrow night for Thursday and Friday for this week. And other than that, post our reports and get to it. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.